notes. <laughs> so I may have some if there's anybody else like in um, in uh, watching right now, um, they can drop their notes in the comments as well. But I really love this, uh, the question that you you propose, like what does the metaverse mean um, in aerospace? And, and I've actually had this question uh, a discussion with with some of some people that are in the space as well. Um, it actually came about because I I wasn't able to go to one of the major conferences in the mm -hmm. U.S. and a lot of the uh, new glasses and new hardware people were presenting what they just came out with and what they're launching. And every time I checked LinkedIn the week after when people were flying home. They're all talking about how they're watching movies through their glasses rather than the in-flight. Yeah. And so this got me got me thinking, okay, like ping-ponging with my my teams. Okay, what is the benefits? Like how much hardware needs to go into an in-flight? How heavy is that? What it like that is I I don't know. I'm not in this space, but is that a benefit? down the line to to um, provide like an in-flight experience that is like lightweight and easy to clean <laughs> i i can't i can't speak for my um uh, services colleagues what they think about that but i do know that for example in a380 we have more than 500 kilometers of cables in the entire plane and that's uh, it is roughly uh, yeah it's it's not so much if you compare it to the whole weight, but it's a lot and all this needs to be installed. Um, so any alternative for that, I think it would be welcomed. Yes, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> you know, I know like the AR glasses are still very, um, I even have a pair here and I work in that, that space. It's still not uh, the best quality or the best fit or the best design for a consumer. Um, but maybe in a few years, they would be primed to do that where people might even have their own and maybe there will be no need for this, uh, the, all these cables connecting everything. And then all these displays where that responsibility for, for the, uh, for the experience is actually on the consumer and not on Airbus and the airlines. So that's why some airlines also promote bring your own device. Uh, you can download already some content. So there are already things moving that way. Maybe not yet with the glasses, but yeah. I guess it's just a matter of time, really. Yeah. Well, congrats on on moving into this new role uh, starting in January. That's really exciting. Yes, and I wanted to to learn a little bit more. Maybe ask some questions that people might be having. Um, is this, uh, the Airbus scale in terms of working with startups, because that's mainly the audience mm -hmm. here, um, is there some sort of application process? Is there a certain cutoff time? How does that work really? So in the past, we used to work with calls, um, but we stopped that in the past. We also used to work with a lot of, uh, startups where the technology was not so mature. Mm -hmm. And we learned from both. So now we say we look for startup with a mature technology to leverage and engage the communication. So you can do it either through me. I think there's also a website. I, because I'm not there yet. I don't know the full details yet, okay. um, but I'm sure you can find it online somewhere on how to reach out to Airbus skill and uh, engage with the community. So we have a, yeah, we have a scouting team. Um, we have people really monitoring it and it fills the pipeline basically. And once in a while we have a review and then we reach out to see, okay, I'm sorry, not of interest or, Hey, this looks cool. Let's start the discussions and uh, see where we, what we can take from there. Yeah. Very cool. I also want to like backpedal a little bit on your, the bird and the insects, uh, uh, study and, and that mm -hmm. sort of like research. How long were you working on that project specifically? So yeah, we usually have, if we have full blown projects, that's usually between two, two and a half years uh, internally. But with, when we have scientific sprints, and this was one of them, um, it's a few months up to, yes, between four and eight months. So this exploration phase with the professor was roughly um, 
four months, three, four months. And then there was a lot of spin-off generated because we identified so many, or so many, we identified three main application areas where uh, two topics became work packages in existing research projects of my colleagues. And the other was so blue sky, really uh, trying to understand the brain functions and how that translates into actual behavior when it's flying or moving or a fruit fly, it has amazing power. Um, and that was really blue sky. So there we said, okay, let's do workshops. We had two workshops, one in 2019, one in 2020 on how with professors throughout the world who were really like, okay, can we talk about this with Airbus? Okay, interesting. And we had, I invited colleagues who otherwise don't get in touch with these professors. It was really cool workshop to have this exchange on learning from each other. It was really learning for everybody and being creative together. Very and, cool. um, yeah, that was a workshop of a few days um, and from that then reports and papers emerged. So in total, not so much time, but really focusing on creativity, generating ideas, exploring what the future could look like, setting direction for new technologies. Mm -hmm. so, hey, if you work on this, then please have this in mind because yeah. I talked to so many professors and they have something new and cool, but they don't know how to target it or what a potential application market could be. And when I tell them, well, we might be interested. I know you didn't think about aerospace before, but we are actually interested. Like, okay, okay. So then I can tell you what we need and then they start working towards our needs. And that really helps them focus and it helps us in understanding the possibilities, opportunities, and also limitations of new yeah. technologies. Yes. I, I, I found it like really interesting when you said like, what, what do these insects what do these animals actually see when they're flying you know that is um that is an incredible like thought to even like think of i'm like whenever i watch a movie when they're like uh trying to do like the bees flying around or whatever i think of okay what could i experience that too like how could i experience that through like virtual reality like could i like take that journey and kind of understand what is going on. So I was like, whoop, my ears perked up when you said that. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, amazing what they're capable of and how to try and mimic that and, yeah, translate that into hardware. Yeah. The software that's needed to, it's, it's yeah, a challenge. It's not there yet or partially starting to become there, but still a lot needs to be done. And it's uh, cool to be able to, be part of that at the forefront, at the frontier, uh, and drive and accelerate these type of developments. I really like that comparison that you put up about the the sensors on the airplane uh, in comparison to just the bird. Um, I thought that was like just phenomenal. And I I have a team that works in nanotechnology, um, mm -hmm. so they're creating like the meta materials and just just like taking something that used to have to be on like the size of a television and now is like the a uh, like 44th of the width of this hair is just beyond amazing so it's kind of showing us where that technology for this big airbus is actually going to be able to like be into these very small sort of like packages that would be lightweight in the future it's very Indeed. Let's see if we have any other like Q and A's. I'm not sure. No, we don't have anything. Um, but Pat Patricia, thank you so much. Uh, you, I'm really so happy that you came on and, and agreed to share with us what Airbus is doing. And hopefully we have some people that are watching this on the replay and say, hey, we're, we're actually working in this space. So thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Casey, for having me and I uh, wish you a successful remainder of the summit. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.